Coach, just kind of give us your general thoughts on the game today. Uh, uh, I, I felt that uh, defensively, um, we uh, we could have got off to a lot better start. Um, we, you know, we we relaxed at the start of the game, allowed them to make their first four threes, and then from there it was um, they were just comfortable and felt confident. Now offensively, we did a great job executing in the first half, um, and then playing with great flow. Um, and it allowed us to have the five-point lead at halftime was huge. It gave our guys some confidence even when the defense wasn't there today. And then to start the half, the first 12 minutes, 24 to 9, to start the second half, allowed us to get that up to 20. And then at the 750 mark, we put it on cruise control for three minutes. And at this level and any level, when you do that, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back uh, to get you. And they made the three straight threes. And again, it was game on then for the next uh, four minutes. So we closed it out well. I was really, um, you know, a happy with um, you know with the win, three in a row. Our guys are feeling good. We had different con contributions every night, and uh, then working some guys back into the lineup that have been out for a couple games. So all in all, um, it, it's a good day, a great day to be a flame, and uh, really happy for our team. Yeah, you mentioned a little bit about the flow of the game, kind of how the second half went. Talk a little bit about you know the character of your team. Obviously, giving up that big run after you had the big run yourself. What does that say to the character of your team that you were able to kind of come back and shut the door and be able to finish the game the way you did? I, I think uh, we're learning how to win, um, and I think the one thing that we're trying to do best is learning um, what what loses, fouling, uh, turnovers, and um, you know, and poor shot selection uh, generally are, are going to be things that that get you. Um, for us today, I, I just felt we really stayed the course, um, didn't panic, and then uh, we did a really good job overall of you know, when it got tight, um, we just we did a good job of maintaining our, our composure. And uh, we got a couple key stops that we needed. And um, again, we just have a, we have a belief about us. Um, we have a next man up mentality. And I, I just, I really like the cohesiveness and kind of the the super glue that we're, we're building here that connects teams. It's, it's games like this that you have to get through and prepare um, that enable those other wins to come all along in January and February. Yeah, Jason led the way tonight with 22 yeah. points. Uh, obviously got a little dinged up towards the end of the yeah. game. Talk a little bit about the leadership aspect he brings to your team and, and lead the way like that. Yeah, I talk about it all the time with Jace. You know, it's part of his maturation process. When he's um, when he is locked in and he's growing, um, he's you know, he, he just provides that presence. Um, Jace, Jace just has a, a confidence about him. When he's locked in um, and doing what he needs to do defensively, uh, he just ignites uh, the rest of the team and everybody follows. So for him, part of that, it's so crucial for him to understand and keep growing there that that the team follows and, and does what it needs to do with Jace. So, he got us off to a great start offensively. Then he switched over to guarding number 11 tonight, did a great job on him, and then it just created this, again, confidence about us. And when people look at that, um, people being our team, they follow. Um, and I, I, I can't say enough um, you know, about uh, Jason's response and his toughness. He's, he's a competitor, and he's learning how to lead while at the same time competing and then improving as a player uh, throughout the year. So I'm, I'm excited for him, really happy. And then lastly, uh, Toby obviously had a tough first half on the scoring side, but came back with 17 points in the second half. Talk a little bit about where his game's been over the last, even two games, going back to last game as well. He just keeps growing. It's like our team. He's a, he probably is the, is the microcosm of the 1%. From the time we got preparing to go to Fordham through now, he's been a 1% guy every day. He's got a routine that he does before practice. He's got a routine that he does after practice. He stays true to the routine. Um, and tonight he struggled in the first half. And had this been about a month earlier, I don't know how well he would have been able to, to, to pull it together. We challenged him a little bit at halftime, but it was more within. It wasn't anything I said to him. He just decided I'm going to be better, and he stepped up. So I'm super excited uh, for Toby's second half. That was key for us. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Oh, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Yep.